in this video i will perform the circular convolution between two sequences using concentric circle method perform circular convolution of the following sequences using concentric circle method here x1 of n sequence and x2 of n sequence are given we are supposed to calculate the circular convolution between these two sequences so here n equal to 0 it indicates n equal to 0 and here also it indicates n equal to 0 so here i can say that x1 of 0 is equal to 2 x1 of 1 is equal to 1 x1 of 2 is 2 and x1 of 3 is 1 similarly we have x2 of 0 is 1 so this is x2 of 1 is 2 x2 of 2 is 3 and x2 of 3 is 4 so in concentric circle method we supposed to draw two concentric circles so this is the concentric circles here we have outer circle and one is inner circle here the outer circle i will take the samples x1 of n and inner circle i will use for x2 of n the outer circle x1 of n sample should be written in anti clockwise direction as i have mentioned here x1 of 0 x1 of 1 x1 of 2 and x1 of 3 the inner circle is for x2 of n sequence which is written in clockwise direction this is x2 of 0 x2 of 1 x2 of 2 and x2 of 3 so this is for n equal to 0 that is for n equal to 0 so now let me write the values so here x1 of 0 is 2 x1 of 0 is 2 right 2 here x1 of 1 is 1 x1 of 1 is 1 x1 of 2 is 2 right 2 here and x1 of 3 is 1 right 1 here now similarly here we have x2 of 0 is 1 x2 of 0 right 1 here x2 of 1 is 2 so here we have x2 of 1 right 2 here x2 of 2 is 3 so it is 3 and x2 of 3 is 4 this is 4 so now for n equal to 0 we will get y of 0 so y of 0 will be equal to now we have to multiply these two numbers and we have to take the sum of all that is let me multiply these two that is 1 into 2 plus we have 1 into 4 1 into 4 plus we have 2 into 3 that is 2 into 3 plus we have 2 into 1 that is 2 into 1 let me simplify that is 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 2 which is equal to 14 therefore y1 of 0 is equal to 14 now we have to consider for n equal to 1 equal to 1 the x1 of n sequence should be kept as it is but x2 of n sequence should be shifted by one unit in anti-clockwise direction that is here we can observe that here it was x2 of 0 it will be shifted here so it will become x2 of 0 at this position similarly x2 of 3 will appear here so likewise one unit it will be shifted so now again write the values so x1 of 0 is 2 this values remains constant that is 2 1 this is 2 and this is 1 now let me write x2 of 1 x2 of 1 is 2 x2 of 0 is 1 x2 of 3 is 4 and x2 of 2 is 3 now again we have to multiply that is our y of 1 that is y of 1 will be equal to we have 2 into 2 plus we have 1 into 1 plus we have 2 into 4 plus we have 3 into 1 that is we have 4 plus 1 plus 8 this is 3 which is equal to 16 therefore y of 1 is equal to 16 so now for n equal to 2 that is for n equal to 2 so here again the outer circle that is x1 of n sequence should be kept as it is and inner circle that is x2 of n should be again rotated by one unit so in anti-clockwise direction so x2 of n sample will come here this will come here that is shown here 
So this is x2 of 2, x2 of 1, x2 of 0 and x2 of 3. Let me write the values. These values will be same. So this is 2, we have 1, we have 2 and this is 1. So x2 of 3 is, so x2 of 3 is 4, this is 4, x2 of 2 is 3, x2 of 1 is 2, we have x2 of 0 is 1. So therefore let me write y of 2, y of 2 is equal to 4 into 1, that is 1 into 4 plus we have 3 into 2 into 3 plus here we have 1 into 2, 1 into 2 plus here we have 2 into 1, that is 2 into 1, that is I can write 4 plus 6 plus 2 plus 2, that is 14. Therefore, y of 2 is equal to, therefore, y of 2 is equal to 14. Now again for n equal to 3, which is the last one, that is for n equal to 3, again outer circle value should be kept as it is, x2 of n again rotated by 1 unit. So this will appear here, this will appear here. That is what is shown here. Let me write these values, that is 2, this is 1, this is 2, this is 1. So x2 of 0 is 1, x2 of 3 is 4, x2 of 2 is 3, x2 of 1 is 2. Therefore, we can write y of 3 is equal to that is 2 into 2 plus here we have 1 into 1 plus here we have 4 into 2 plus here we have 1 into 3 1 into 3 that is 4 plus 1 plus 8 plus 3 which is equal to 16 so y of 3 is equal to 16 here we can observe that the length of x1 of n is 4, length of x2 of n is 4, the length of output sequence y of n will also be 4. Therefore, I can write y of n, circular convolution y of n is equal to x1 of n, circular convolution with x2 of n. Here, n has is equal to 4 as it is, as it has 4 samples, so n is equal to 4. Therefore, y of n is equal to, we have 14, 16, 14, 16. So, this is the result for circular convolution between two given sequences. Thank you for watching.